Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Hi everyone. Salam perkenalan. Uh, I am Dr. Raja Mayang Delima binti Muhammad Better as a main presenter which we represent uh, the other authors. The main author is Muhammad Amirul Muhammad Better. is one of the postgraduate student from University of Science Islam Malaysia. Uh, Dr. Siti Nubaila, the senior lecturer from USIM Nilai. Uh, me, myself, Raja Mayang Delima. I am <coughs> from UITM Changan Negeri Sembilan. Uh, Puan Siti Rosnita Sakarji from UITM Machang and Puan Nordayana Zulkifli uh, from UITM Chawangan Negeri Sembilan. So, I would like to uh, introduce the topic uh, of the study that uh, we plan to... This is just the idea which the <coughs> study it will be conducted uh, end of this year which will focus on the relationship uh, study between parenting style and orientation on communication towards uh, special needs children at Johor and uh, other than that I will focusing on certain topic on the parenting basic concepts of parenting if I have uh, enough time I will explain more on the parenting style uh, conscious parenting tips for stress up parents uh, in handling the miss uh, the, the special needs children biggest parenting misconceptions toward the special needs uh, children and other than that, steps to effective parenting and also the idea of the the main study. <clears throat> so, uh, some words to remember. Babies are more trouble, trouble than you thought and more wonderful, uh, which have been uh, cited uh, by Charles Osgood. And... Actually, there's no one way to parent a child. So, uh, there are two different between single life and family life. So, single life is focusing on singlehood, which the state of being unmarried without any commitment. However, since it is common for people to be in a romantic partnership yet not married, this term also applies to the condition of having no romantic partner at all and also no kids, no children. It is different with family life, which the conversation orientation refers to the openness of the mother fathers to communicate with their children, where the relationship exists bilateral between parent and child. So the objective of this study are... Focusing on the definition of special needs, to know the definition and laws, of, uh, laws about the children, to find out related matters about children with special needs, focusing on dyslexia children at uh, Johor, and then to know the importance of parenting education nowadays. So, I would say that uh, since this study is focusing on the parenting orientation, there are two type of uh, orientation which will uh, be um, the main uh, the, the main objective of the study uh, to be tested which is uh, whether the parenting uh, orientation under conformity or conversation orientation which being possessed by the parents with uh, uh, special needs children. So what is conformity orientation? It is referred to a rigid form of communication in which emphasis is placed on authority parent, especially in decision making. However, conversation orientation refers to the openness of the mother, fathers, the, the parents to communicate with their children where the relationship exists bilateral between parent and child. So it is different because when, when the parent uh possess the conformity orientation they tend to uh, conquer the situation and also their child however conversation orientation more to open and um, uh, flexible uh, 
So, uh, from the previous study, 51% millennial mothers believe they are raising their children right. However, 45% uh, parents want others to see them as good parents. How, uh, the, the issue is whether, uh, what, what are the percentage of the parents uh, toward the parents that uh, have a special needs children. So, uh, this study will also uh, focus on the consciousness of parent, which is called as conscious parenting. Uh, for parents of children with special needs, which actually there are no set of rules to follow. Conscious parenting concepts are rooted in ancient Eastern belief as well as Western psychology actually. And according to Sabari, to be conscious or mindful is to be aware. So we can identify the difference between reacting to our children from our egos and from the karma centered state of who we truly are. It's all about the ability to be in the moment in any situation that arises. And when it comes to living in the present, uh, she says our children are gurus who can awaken us to be real, giving us the gift of self-awareness, self-expression and deep self-belief. This is what we want to, st to study about focusing on parents with uh, special needs children. Do they possess the same style of uh, uh, normal parents. So, 23.20% uh, of millennial parents of children with special needs stay at home. And there are several tips for stress out new parents of children with special needs. Um, yes, first tip, it's okay to accept help. Just open your heart, open your mind, and just go with the flow. However, try to learn the techniques in handling children with special needs. And you must relax your standards and take care of yourself. Those techniques will be asked uh, in the questionnaire form uh, to, to get the, the answer from the parents of children. Uh, with special needs, whether they are okay to accept help and whether they can ready to go with the flow uh, and to be relaxed and are they uh, really care of themselves rather than just focusing on their children with special needs. So there are three biggest parenting misconceptions of children with special needs, which children with special needs they, they think that uh, tho those kind of children with uh, are mentally handicapped which the, the that student are that, that children are not uh, open to to do anything so they control this type of children and then second they feel that a hyperactive child for example ADHD and antisocial child is autistic not every child under ADHD and antisocial child is autistic. So this is what we want to study to get their uh, perception from the parents themselves. And then third, these children can never reach their fullest potential. That's a biggest parenting misconception which should be avoided by the parents. Right? Mm. There are several advice for new parents which have been touched in the full paper. It is important for parenting lessons. It, this kind of question will also be asked under the question is uh, subtopic, which focusing on their awareness to take uh, to to attend any uh, courses regarding the parenting education. And there are several ways actually to effective parenting. You must boost your child's self-esteem, be consistent with your discipline, and make communication a priority, which has been um, uh, possessed under the conversation orientation, which is 
good right uh, next so the plan of the study is actually correlation study we using the questionnaire as an instrument and this is study uh, the aim of the study is to obtain views and information from a respondent regarding the factors and the importance of parenting education by asking all those previous uh, uh, questions that I have mentioned before. So, they, they, their response will be rec recorded and will be analyzed to get their, the level of uh, result from the analysis in order to identify uh, and to measure the importance of parenting education and its relationship to the causes of uh, maybe some sort of child abuse towards the special needs of uh, children. So there are several characteristics of good parents which uh, good parents should be a positive role model, respectful of autonomy and skillful communicator towards their child. So those uh, subtopic also will be the dimension under the questionnaire that will be asked to the parents whether they possess the, the same, the same uh, ethics, the, the, sa the same attitude or not towards their children and what actually makes a good parent? A good parent is one that teach their child to be a kind and responsible human being. Do they able to perform the same as a normal parent since they are the parent of children with special needs? So actually, they just need to enjoy parenting because it is very important to focus on nowadays uh, on the parenting education. They need to be made aware and aware how, how big their role and function in generating excellent generations even though they have uh, children with uh, special needs. So, there are several tips of wisdom. Be willing to keep learning, be your child's biggest advocate and consistent discipline. So, there are several references which have been used uh, under the full paper uh, from Al-Quran, Al-Karim, from Hadith Riwayat Al-Bukhari, from Kitab Al-Solah and several other references. So, this study is planned to be conducted end of this year uh, after we visit to the Dyslexia Center at Johor and we will do a case study to make a correlation study between parenting style and parenting orientation towards the parent with uh, children with, uh, with special needs. So, we aim, uh, the study will give a big impact towards the parents, also to the, the, to the center uh, that in charge the children with special needs, also to the other future research which will also focus on the uh, what we call uh, abuse, the child abuse towards special needs, which the study will not focusing on that. We just reveal the result, how the parenting style, the real parenting style of children with special needs. Hopefully, the result will give uh, some input to the other researchers to to do to to perform uh, further research to the other sub areas, for example, to the type of other special needs children beside dyslexia, they can focus on the autism, autistic uh, children, O H uh, ADHD children and others. So thank you. With that, I end my presentation. Uh, hopefully to see you all of you again in other conference. Thank you. Thank you again to the organizer of International Conference on Social Science and Humanities 2020 uh, for giving me a chance to participate in this international conference. Thank you everyone and good luck.